Hi, so today I'm doing a video that I've already filmed before. <laughs> um, so today I'm storing all the Wii cards that I have just because I got a chunk of them and I feel like if I incorporated that with the rest of the groups that I have, it would be a very long video and I would get overwhelmed again. So we're doing a Wii only video, but the thing is, is I've already filmed this and when I did film it, I had a different setup because I've already changed my setup because that's just who I am. <laughs> but it hasn't changed like that much and I'll explain it as I get to like the parts that have changed. But um, I've got four Wii Eye binders now. So you can imagine where this is going. Um, but the thing that hasn't changed is my Yonga binder, which is this. He needs a cover. I need to sit down and actually make him a cover. I have extra Wii Eye albums. I don't know why I'm not doing a cover. Anyways, this is the only thing that hasn't changed, but it kind of sort of has because I don't know if you remember that video that I made like, was it two or three months ago, where I set up all of like Wii Eyes pre-order cards and sets in a 12 pocket binder. I'm still collecting those. I'm just not setting it up that way. I didn't like how empty those binders were. I didn't like that I had to use two binders for three eras. I didn't like that and they were full full. And they had no cards in them. So imagine them with like bulk, with like thickness in them. Honestly, wouldn't be able to, honestly. So I changed it up a bit, new setup, same thing. I haven't downsized Wii Eye. Actually, I've upsized them. <laughs> so we're gonna start off with Yonga because I do have some cards to put away for him. I got some sets on Mercury Japan. So I got his like, Japan trading card set from the first love era. I also got like this OT6 set from Eternally, so this is Yonga's. And I also got his like Japan trading cards for um, the youth era, which is their first Japanese um, mini album single. These sleeves are slippery, oh my goodness. So as I said, I've previously stored these, so there are holes where I need to put them. But um, since this is also like a setting, not setting up, but a new setup video. Why don't we flip through my Wii collection as well, just so you can see how it is. I am also not double sleeving anymore. I decided to not double sleeve because I found out that if I double sleeved in like my A5 Meow Cafe binders, it bulks them up way too much. And then the two inch is full and I still have so many cards to put in it. So I decided not to double sleeve for those. And then I was like, well, I kind of don't want to double sleeve for my big binders anymore because, because, I think I only have technically, technically, four, like A4 size binders that use these sleeves, the Dragon Shield sleeves, the standard size. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I changed my collection once again. But I can't show that right now because I'm waiting on a Meow Cafe order, which told myself it was going to be the last order of the year, but who knows? <laughs> oh, I've given that shop way too much money over the past, like, three months. Free shipping in Canada is over $200. I'm making it count. <laughs> I'm getting that free shipping. <laughs> Anyways, so I decided to just single sleeve my cards. So I got a lot of popcorn sleeves that I don't know what to do with. Um, but that's a problem for later me. Right now, we're going to flip through this binder because it's still one of my favorite binders in my collection. It's not full. It'll never be complete because there will always be cards that are missing. But the thing is, his album cards are complete for Wii Eye, not for One the Nine. Um, because with Wii Eye's new single, they had like a polka release with their Make Star events. I have all of them coming. <laughs> so. So like the first sight. These I'll probably never get. But, you know, it looks nice. I'm really excited. I really, really love my Wii Eye collection. Um, it's on par with my Oh My Girl collection. Those two collections are my favorite collections. And there'll always be holes. Always. At least not in the album section. 
because that's a beautiful spread. <laughs> but the only thing I can do is just, you know, get the cards that I'm missing one at a time. One at a time. I do have a few coming from Poke Market. I shipped out two Poke Market packages and I still have cards at the warehouse. So I got to ship out another one. But I think I'm going to wait a little bit for that one. So first love era, the trading cards. I go here. So this one goes here because it's the same outfit as this whole page. <laughs> this whole page is this fuzzy sweater, but he has 10 cards in that outfit. So one had to go over here. So it's the trading card that goes over here because he only has one card in this outfit, but then he has seven cards in this suit outfit. It's perfect. Oh, sorry. My table is cracking. I love setting up <laughs> stuff like this. I love it so, so much. And I know like some people, they need to have everything on hand to be able to see. And it is easier. I just need to have a template. Like a uh, template that has everything on it with pictures. That's all I need. That's all I need. And then this one is in the concert outfit. So it goes there. And then we have all of these and then this one matches this one which i think for some weird reason my brain when it looks at this card sees sunghoon from enhypen <laughs> just like i'm not saying young al looks like sunghoon because he does not it's just this outfit this hairstyle just this he has sunghoon vibes <laughs> We call this the boring page, the beige page, but it's complete. <laughs> and then here is like the colorful page. And then he has this make star one. It's the same outfit as this one. So it's going there. And then the last one was kind of like an odd one out. So it's on this page. And that's it for that. And then we can skip passion because I don't have anything for passion, but we'll still flip through it because I also rearranged my passion setup. Um, so I had rearranged my first love setup to include those trading cards. And I also rearranged my passion setup because I realized some outfits were actually not together. And I also added the UGU cards. But the thing is, is I don't think these have been like shipped out yet. And passion era was two years ago. <laughs> So the only thing there are, are blurry previews. So I don't even know if this actually fits this vibe or not, but that's where it's going. <laughs> so yeah. I really do like this new setup so much more. Like this page is gonna look so nice because it's rows of three. Beautiful. And then here's another row of three. I just really like setting things up which which is why i think i like collecting pre-order cards so much because it gives me the opportunity to like organize stuff and like technically i could do that with album cards but with album cards i feel like most people are more inclined to organize them by album type and like there's you can do outfits too but there's so many like there's there aren't that many you know unless you're yena and you have 40 something album cards <laughs> <laughs> uh, I rearranged her uh, her album cards that's why I know <laughs> specifically the um, hate XX era is the one I'm talking about so yeah it's gonna be beautiful once this all fills up but oh, I'm fi oh, I finished this page I have this one coming but it's gonna take forever but it's fine I don't really care and then we get into Eternally Era, which I have the one card. But it's like more towards the back. I set up the other pages as like full pages and then these pages, I set them up as like not full pages because these are like album card outfits and I didn't really, like it didn't really like, I didn't really have two extra ones of another outfit that I could put here, right? Or like three for this. And he has like broadcast cards and special cards in these albums. And if 
if I do get them, then I'll have a space to put them, right? But am I actually going to get them? Probably not. Uh, eternally needs some work. <laughs> I have a few coming, but it needs a lot of work. <laughs> so this card goes here. It is jump up. Why do I have... I usually like to do online offline. I don't know why I had offline first. Weird. But he goes there. Just a very normal one. But they're all wearing... Oh, it's the same outfit as this one. The Eternally ones were really hard for me to figure out. Oh, this one too. Because I kept missing outfits. Oh, well, it's fine. You don't really notice a little suit and tie on these, right? Right? <laughs> and then we go back here are his Japanese cards. So I have the trading cards finally so this row up here will be this outfit plus this one and then we have these two in the same outfit and then we have this bottom row these three in the same outfit <laughs> the, the backs are we're ignoring the backs and then over here we have like it is going to be this, these three, and then these two are gonna be in the same outfit, like that. And then these four are gonna be with his like passion hair. So yeah, that's it. But then we also have Wave back here. I don't know what I'm missing for Wave. I know I'm missing three pre-order cards, but for like album related cards or like cards in these specific concepts, I don't know what I'm missing. I know that there are at least five of each concept. I know that. And then back here is like not as fleshed out. <laughs> so we have um, first fan kit and then two 2022 seasons greetings. And then this is another card that I should have taken out, but I forgot. But I have his gift for you card. They released a like Christmas single at the end of 2022. And it was just like a jewel case. And it was only sold at like a, an event or something. Anyways, I have the card that came in the jewel case. Now I just need like the event cards <laughs> to fill up this page. And his universe cards. And then back here I put his units and group cards because I do want to keep them. But I white sleeve them because the backs are all different orientation. So it meant that the fronts were all different orientations. And that's a problem I figured out when I was filming the other video. So I corrected it. <laughs> now they're all facing the way that I like them to be faced. <laughs> because I had received, I think, three Eternally group cards in a trade as a gift. So I think I had stored those as well. Yeah. And then we have these two wave units. So that is it for my Yonga binder. Now. I'm gonna go into my Johan binder, who didn't exist in any of my previous videos, but existed in the other video, but he shapeshifted. So, yeah. Here is my Johan binder. <laughs> he has his own big binder. In the video that I had filmed before, the reason why that video never got out is because <clears throat> It was out of focus the whole time. And I never realized it because I can't see my screen on my phone from filming because the tripod is in front of me. Um, and I basically like film upside down. So like to be able to see the screen and not have to worry if I'm in, in or out a frame, I screen mirror to my TV. My TV's quite enough far away from me where I film right now. When I used to do this at first, it was right next to me. But now that I film on the table so I can sit down while filming, it's kind of far away from me. And I got shitty vision. <laughs> Even with my glasses because I need new glasses and I refuse to get new glasses because they're expensive. I really can't see if things are fo in focus or not. And I record with like the shittiest quality that I can <laughs> to save on space and stuff. Um, 
So either way, what I see on the screen is blurry if it even if it's in focus. <laughs> so now I gotta make sure that everything is perfectly in focus before I start filming. But in the previous video, he was in a A5 three inch binder from Meow Cafe. And he only took up about like this much of the binder. And I'm like, yeah, he's not gonna grow that fast. Um, I think I could use that binder for something else. So I did. Um, and I decided to put Johan in here. I was thinking about putting him behind Yunga. I think I did that at one point and I was just like putting his album cards and then whatever pre-order cards that I had for him after just in a nice pattern of how many I had. I had the brilliant idea of fully sitting up for him the exact same way that I've set up for Yunga. With everything. Lucky draws, winner cards, Chinese cards, Japanese cards, all of that. Um, so I did that. He's in a two inch at the moment. Young has in a three inch. He's in a two inch at the moment because um just single sleeving my cards just re greatly reduced the bulk in my Yonga binder because he was full at three inch and now he's not. Um, but also because Johan has I have way less of Johan's cards, so he's not even filling up a two inch binder yet <laughs> but he has the same amount of pages minus a few in the back as Yonga. so i only have one card to put away for him and it's the like ot6 equivalent card because all of my johan cards are still on the way so he gets yellow because he was originally yellow in the a5 binder and these are also like the same sleeves that i used for um when i had them in the 12 pocket binder. I had pink, yellow, and purple. So these are the same sleeves. So I thought I'd use them, but I still have so many left. Because I bought fucking two packs, so that was 300 cards. Anyways, he's also fully set up for his pre order cards. I was debating on what sleeves to use for his set up because I like to use the dual matte sleeves from Dragon Shield, you know, the ones that are black on the front but have a color on the back. But I would need so many just for Johan because I need more than a hundred for Yonga, so that's why, I don't know if you noticed, but he has blue and gray. <laughs> um, That I would have to buy like multiple and I didn't have any extras because all the other colors that I use are being used and then I looked over to my left uh, it was my left now it's my right I cleaned my table rearranged my stuff because I'm gonna need all the room that I can get you'll see why later on in this video and I had like five of these things full of white sleeves or maybe six of these things full of white sleeves I was like I'm gonna use white sleeves and I had bought these post-its like forever ago and had decided not to use them and I was like I'm gonna use these post-its so here we are repurposing our stuff um he has nothing like I have this one singular challenge pre-order card because I bought albums and this was one of the things that came in the album but it's severely damaged so I never got rid of it because it's like Oh, it's chewed up. Somebody chewed on it. And then I bought a action set and <laughs> dumbass me went on Poke Market and was buying $1 cards for, for Wii Eye. And I was like, I'm going to start with Johan because I want all of his, like all of his album cards as well and all of his pre-order cards. So I was like, I don't have anything for first sight. I don't have anything for challenge and I don't have anything for action. So whatever of those three eras that I find on Poker Market is fair game. I forgot I had these. So I have this card, this card, I think, and this card coming in again. <laughs> yeah, not proud, but $1 plus the fee, $2. I could have gotten other cards, but you know, I also had pre-order cards in that challenge, uh, action set. So it's a little bit more filled out. On to First Love. At one point, I was collecting OT6 Wii I for album cards, but I was only collecting like one set per version because for First Love, they have three, uh, four album cards in the same outfit. 
And then they also have a meta card in that same outfit. So I was only just collecting one set from like the photo book version. So that's why I basically only have like one Johan of each outfit. <laughs> and then these are the meta cards. It's pre-order cards. I do have a few. But he's set up the exact same way as Yonga. He's just gonna be a little bit slower to collect. I'm fine with that. I got a big, not a big, but a decently sized set of pre-order cards coming for him, so I'm excited for that. Passion isn't too bad. I'm missing two. I got more pre-order cards for Passion and Eternally than I do for First Love, so. And then Eternally, missing two album cards. I, actually, I think I got these. I bought both of these. And I think I bought one of these. <laughs> Pre-order cards. And then here goes this one card <laughs> right here. So that's the card. And then the rest is re really just set up the same, except that I did set up for Love to You. And I also have all of his cards coming because I found sets on Mercari Japan um, of like their member sets. There's five cards per member. Like three selfies, one concept that you get like the full set in the polka, and then a QR code, which is also a concept. So that is it for this binder. Now I'm going to move on to the um, A5 three-inch binder that has the pre-order cards in it. Because I had Johan in one three-inch binder and I had put the other members' pre-order cards in it. Because six members minus two equals four. I thought it was cute. <laughs> Here it is. It is casting a massive shadow <laughs> over here. Um, you know, when I opened this like a month ago, I wasn't expecting it to be this big. You know, th you think three inch, you know, it's not that huge. But when you condense the three inch to like an A5 size, it's massive. But it's great for me because I'm going to have a lot of room for shit. Now, in the original video, I had set it up as if I had a card for that set, it would be set up on a page with that set. And I was using the purple sleeves as fillers. But then it was almost full with just the cards that I had. And that wasn't even all the sets that I wanted to collect either. It's just the ones that I had cards for. So I was like, okay. Maybe we can do something. Maybe I can double side them. Use white sleeves, double side them. This was actually before I had set up my Johan binder, so I still had all those white sleeves. And I was like, maybe we can double side them, save some pages, because I was running out of pages. Um, and I hadn't made the new Meow Cafe order yet. I bought two more packs of pages. <laughs> and I was like, I don't want to double side them, because what if I get a new set? I'm going to have to move every set one down because I want them to be in a specific order, which is the order that I have them in my big binders. The exact same order that they are in my Yonga and now Johan binders. I want them to be in this, 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 that exact same order in this binder. I'm getting worked up, but I can't speak. <laughs> so if I get a card from a set that I don't previously have and it has to go in between two sets, I'm gonna have to move everything down. I was like, oh, I can't do that. <laughs> Especially not on camera. I probably would have done it off camera and like prepped it before. But I was like, I, I still don't want to do this. <laughs> so I was like, hmm, what if I only set up for the sets that I have all four members for, you know? And then the rest of them I can set up as like member pages, you know? And if I do get cards that complete a set, then I can move that set to the front. I know a lot of people do that, 
with some collections and I was like that's a great idea like I need to stop thinking about having everything properly set up for everything and that I can just chill and take things accordingly and take my time and not have empty pages for nothing right so that's what I did but then I realized I wanted to refilm this video so I took them all out but they're all in order in here why do I have so much why do I have so much? That's gonna be the thumbnail. <laughs> I need to start using my iPad to make cute thumbnails again. But I edit on my computer. So, and I also upload on my computer. Anyways, we're gonna start off with the sets that I have all, like the other four members for. I only have three. <laughs> it's gonna take a while <laughs> to have like all the members because I'm just buying like random sets that I see on Macari Japan. And when it comes to Poke Market, I'm pr probably just gonna buy like the really cute ones. <laughs> now, cause my plan was to buy ones from sets I already had, but now that I'm not setting up for all the sets, well, I can just buy cute ones. So I have this one from First Love. Like these were all acquired from buying random sets and I think a few trades because I did trade for a few but a few <laughs> it's just like luck that of all the sets that I bought I had full of these members because I don't have full sets because I don't think I have Johan for these two sets but this is the OT6 set that I got from Eternally Era so I do actually technically have an OT6 set of this one. It's a cute one. It's a little suit and tie moment. The sun is behind my house. And my windows are at the front of my house. So it's kind of gloomy in here. And then the rest is by members. I have all of them. Because I only collect pre-order cards and fan sign cards and whatever. Um, from First Love onwards for the other four members so I have all of them like running into each other for the other members so we start off with Daehyun so these are his first love ones and then this iconic set just ended up in like because I have these in the order that I want them as well so if I do get new ones, I'm going to have to shift these. But I'm okay with shifting these and not shifting full sets. like Or full pages, I guess. I'm just going to move this a little bit. So it's a little bit more centered. And then, oops. Come on, come on. Oh, the card crooked. Now that I'm like not double sleeving anything, I like having the card like at the bottom here but one little wrong movement and it's crooked so here we start passion this card and like the junso equivalent were like my original pulls from when i bought from k-town for you when i bought the albums i there's three versions of the album so i got daehyun junso and i also got yonga and at that point i was contemplating about not collecting non-album cards for any of my groups so I did end up selling a few of them. Like I sold a few WoW pre-order cards, a few Sinkyo pre-order cards and non-album stuff and all of that combined together. And I also sold a few Young Um, And then I got the new album in the mail and I pulled Yonga's pre-order card and he's like pouting, like pouting in it because I have a weakness for when Yonga pouts. <laughs> I was like, that's it, I'm collecting pre-order cards again. Whoop. Because also in that order, I had bought and Flying's like like latest album, actually, Dearest, and I pulled um Huesing and Singhub. And the Singhub card is like a card where he's doing a pose where he's never done before. Cause Singhub has um the same same pose disease. <laughs> um Cheek heart, P 
peace sign, but like to the cheek, like this on the cheek. Um, and just like plain faced are like his three go-to. And this one, he's like crouched down next to a flower and he's taken a picture from like that angle. And I was like, holy fuck. <laughs> Literally double whammy. And then we have eternally for Dathan. So that's what made me decide to collect pre-order cards again. And then like a year later, I was like, I'm collecting pre-order cards for everybody. And I was like, yeah, no, you're not. <laughs> Although I'm still in my pre-order card like mood. I still really like collecting pre-order card and I get pre-order cards and I get excited. I, I lump like pre-order cards, fan signs, Everything that is like fan call or like album release related is a pre-order card for me. Like I'm still into it, but I realized that I should probably finish album cards first. So I've been focusing on album cards recently, especially since I switched up all my collections. <laughs> yeah, so this is where the hand finishes. Now we move on to Dongan. So his first love cards. Very, very cute. Can't fault Wii Eye for having some of the best pre-order cards out there. Honestly, can't. Granted that they do follow a lot of the trends, which I like because some of them are really cute. They did the heart frame one for their new event, like you know, the Le Seraphim based Unforgiven ones, but the ones that they're doing now with the pink heart frame. Um, Kiss of Life did them too. Um, they did those for their new single. <laughs> I'm so excited. The only thing that pisses me off about their new single is that Johan is not in any of the pre order cards. I wish it was shitty outside so that people weren't doing yard work outside because that was loud. <laughs> You're probably gonna hear it, um, but at least it's not under the house anymore. There's a garage underneath my apartment, that's why. But at least he's outside now. <laughs> so that was passion. Yeah, Johan isn't in any of the pre-order cards because he can't participate in like the fan calls and stuff because he's busy acting. My boy got an acting gig. So, he's busy doing all of that, so. But he was in the, like, music video, and he does have, like, album photo cards for Love To You. And I'm really excited, because I love him. Here is Eternally. These flower crown ones are so cute. They did a lot of propped ones for, um, the first event for Eternally. And then near the end, they did, they did some prop ones, but they also did a lot of like pose ones. And this is the last one for Dongan. Now we move on to Sokwa, which I made a devastating realization when I was setting up my member. I have no Sokwa passion cards. How did that happen? I have first love and I have eternally, but no passion. It's very rude of him <laughs> to not show up in any of the sets that I bought. So I'm gonna have to go on the hunt to get some Sokwa passion cards. Cause there's no way that I'm not gonna have any Sokwa passion cards. That's a travesty in its own. Oh, shoot. Eternally, see? It goes from first love straight into eternally. Great. Go in. I almost have a full set for this set. I need Dehyun, I think. Or Dongan? Who do I need? It is Dongan. <laughs> I have Dehyun. I think that's like one of 
one of the only sets that I'm really close to. There might be more. I think this one too, I'm only missing one. I'm not sure. I do have a lot of Sokwa eternally though. I guess it makes up for the fact that I don't have any passion for him. He changes his hair color and I don't have the sets according to hair colors because Taehyun was red and then he was black and then Donghan was blue and then he was black and then Sokwa was peach and then he was blonde and <laughs> only Junso stayed the same. And then we go on to Junso. <laughs> so first love, I do think I have the most for Junso just because a lot of the sets that I found for him were bulky. They had a lot. It wasn't just like six or seven cards. It was like 20 cards. And then I also traded for some Junso pre-order cards, mostly from First Love era. So that's why I got more for him for First Love. Oop. See like, for First Love, he's the one that changed his hair color. So like the sets are not cohesive by hair color whatsoever. God, I got a lot of first love for him, holy. Okay, now we go into passion. understand this set why are they standing in front of a merry-go-round and then we go into eternally I can't believe there was a year in between eternally and the new era when they gave us so much during the first love trilogy this point I don't care and that is the last card for this so this is how full the binder is now there is still a lot of a lot of room now <laughs> so that brings us to our last binder now, if you're smart, which I know you are, you're probably going to figure out where this last binder is going, right? But can you figure out what binder it is? If you guess the 12 pocket page binder, you are correct. And if you also guess that I'm collecting all OT6 album cards, you are also correct. I had a lapse of judgment and I wanted to use these binders for something. <laughs> Um, so I had put like my miscellaneous cards in them and I was like, I don't like that. <laughs> and then I was like, what can I put in here? And I was like, organizing my cards for, to get rid of, for like trading mostly is what I do. And I was like, why do I have so many fucking Wii album cards? And I was like, ha, well, they're going in this binder. And because these are four wide, it fits the other four members because Yonga is in his binder, Johan is in his binder, and now I got two binders for the rest of the members. Now, I am collecting every single album card except for the first three eras when they had Polaroids and like clear cards. I'm not collecting those for these four members. I am for Yonga and Johan though. This is just what I have. But I went on Poke Market. Remember those $1 cards? They were Wii album cards. Also, I needed room because this binder's way wide. 
and I had stuff on the left here that you can't see and I would have had to move that stuff every single time that I would want to film with these binders and that's one of the reasons why I didn't want to use these binders because they're too wide for like my filming setup so I have I'm basically filming at like a dining room table right now my tripod is like on the table because I have one of those like actual tripods with like tr three legs that is used for taking pictures because I've had it since 2009 when I was beginning my photography career so <laughs> it's like the shortest that it can go and um, I basically just have it like bent down as it can go so I can't really you know have too much clutter around but I do so I have a little table next to me like one of those TV dinner tables that had stuff on it so I cleaned that and now on whatever was over here on this side right over here is over he to my left now right fuck <laughs> I know my left and my right I swear to god <laughs> I was thinking about this the other day. If somebody asks me what my left is and what my right is, I'm fine. But if somebody asks me to give them direction, either left or right, I can't. <laughs> I can't. If it's for me, I'm fine. If it's for somebody else, I can't. <laughs> so this is what I currently have. Um, it's very sparse in the beginnings, um, but it'll get fuller because I bought a lot. <laughs> so this is first sight. This challenge. This is action. And then first love onwards, it gets a little bit fuller. passion we have a full page look at that so nice and then eternally and then I did set up for the new comeback but there's five cards remember and of course this would fit better if there are six so I think maybe I'll collect a dupe of the like full set that comes in the album and do it like here, like on the top and on the bottom and put the QR code in the middle and then do this page all selfies because I have all of them coming. By all of them, I didn't just mean Yonga and Johan's cards, I meant OT6. <laughs> I went on Mercari Japan, was it one morning? And I was like, let me just check, you know, for funsies and Somebody had listed like member sets for everybody and they were like a decently good price. And I was like, well, fuck, I need to buy those now. <laughs> so yeah, this binder has so much room to grow, which I'm excited about because when I put the pre-order cards in here, it was stuffed to the brim. Both of them were stuffed to the brim and it was making me very anxious about the future. But now I don't have to worry about the future. Everything that I have set up for WeI has room to expand, room to grow, and I'm super excited about where I'm going with this collection. It's gonna be really exciting. That's all I can say. I'm really, really excited. That's the only adjective. Ac that's the only adjective that I apparently know. But yeah, that is it for this video. I wasn't a very fun video because everything was pre-planned <laughs> because like I said I filmed this video before but when I filmed this video this didn't exist so this is new this is new this didn't exist when I filmed the video before so welcome to the collection so yeah I hope y'all enjoyed this one and I hope y'all stick around to see what my future self and her shenanigans are up to because I can't guarantee you that everything will stay the same as it is now because I get bored and I move stuff around. So yeah, with that, I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye!